Good morning. Welcome to a new show in which we'll be discussing the recent market movements of crypto as it's currently quite boring after the drop down. But there's lots of content that we have to discuss and there are altcoins that we have to discuss which we'll be doing. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel beneath here so you can help me out and grow the audience of this channel. And we're doing fine lately as it's just accelerating so fast. What is happening with Bitcoin? We have discussed with Bitcoin that there is usually a very bad month in March and that bad month frequently happens since the end of February. So we just saw a drop down of the markets, which is completely fine. Um, quite natural. The overall construction of the markets is still bullish if you look at the higher time frames, and then there is just that reset that we need with the entire markets. All the euphoria, all the FOMO that everybody was experiencing that has to reset for a little while before we can have a new impulse wave. So what we see currently is that we have this downwards move. So on the lower time frames, if we check the charts on the lower time frames, we can say we've got a downtrend. And when we get a downtrend, you're looking at resistances uh, or supports becoming resistance again which means that in this current construction, we have this breakdown of support here after this bounce, breakdown, lower high breakdown, drop down towards this area. Still, you should believe that this, uh, this on entire wick here is just an outlier, bounce up, retest, drop down towards a massive area of support, which is very important, bounce back up, immediate rejection as you can see here, We've got this rejection area at 51.5, then it dropped down. And I said, as long as we stay above 47K, we can have the construction that we have here as the 47K area is this previous high, also flipped for support, should be acting as support. You could also take this OB here and then we can continue moving. So what we currently see is that we're holding that level for support, which is fine. Now we have to break through this 50K or 51K resistance zone. If that happens, we can start running up towards the next critical area of resistance. However, usually you will get like a few of those waves. So another wave up towards anything in this region would be completely fine. However, the trick is, is that if we can't break above this critical resistance zone that we have around 55K here, is that People will turn bullish inside a resistance area and then we just flip around again to have a further downwards drop just like we anticipated in the previous corrective move um, in January. So what we're currently at is, I'll just get a clean chart going, that's probably, this is a more clean, well it's not a clean chart, I'll get a clean chart going. What we see here is almost a copy paste of this drop down, very fast drop down in which we test previous levels for support very fast drop down, testing previous levels for support, um, bounce up, rejection at the resistance zone, higher low and another run. So bounce up, rejection at higher low, uh, rejection at resistance, higher low created and another run up towards somewhere in this region. And then we get another corrective move, which is probably going to be longer, probably going to take us down towards anything in this region around 40k to 38 um, in the coming weeks would also bring the 21 week MA into play at some point. Um, and then we start crawling back up at a later stage, probably not through acceleration, but just a similar construction is completely fine. That if we get into that 55 K zone or 40, 54 K zone on Bitcoin, I would not be um, going too ham on the entire move. I would be looking at uh, potential flipping of support so if we uh, if we break through 54k you should be looking at a flip of 51 before we can see any continuation what's next for altcoins we'll be discussing a few of them and the first one i'm going to discuss is our friend zilica which is doing fine still people are getting a little bit freaked out by the entire move that we witnessed on zilica but it's just doing what we wanted to be doing we'll go through this one Silica is making this move after the uh, accumulation period, a very bullish breakout upwards. Uh, we have been saying those levels here, which we should be flipping the 5 cents or 3.5 cents level for support. We flipped the 5 cents level for support, which is great. 
then we can anticipate or use the Fibonacci extension tool to see those increases happening here. Again, the police is coming. Um, but those Fibonacci extension tools that you want to use, the one is the high, the zero is the low before the impulse wave. Finally, they are passing by. Um, and then the 1618 is the next target zone. Um, which is currently what we see. In this entire construction is what you want to do is that a previous resistance zone becomes support. So in this case, the 5 cent zone becomes support. In this run up, the entire block that we have here, and I'll construct a clean chart to show it to you. This entire green zone that we have here is the area that you want to see sustain for support. This is the critical level. Basically, you don't want to see it drop below 5.7 cents, but that's the critical area that you want to see sustain. So if we copy paste the entire construction, we can see this entire run up and then another test before we can see the next big impulse wave happening, just like we see in any of those cases here. If we use the copy paste of the previous parabolic move, you can see that we also have breakdowns, retest, another breakdown, retest, and then we start moving. So what you want to see here, what we most likely get is that we get this run towards these highs, make a lower high, have a further corrective move, and then on the later stage, we start to accelerate, and we start to accelerate through the Bitcoin pair. Currently, the Bitcoin pair of uh, Zilliqa looks like garbage, to be quite honest with you, but the entire construction is still making higher lows, higher highs, in which we currently have this compression period, which is most likely going to bring up, as long as we hold this gray zone for Zilliqa, everything is fine. But then we have a compression period. And then once we break above this 350 level, this one is going to accelerate heavily. And then we can get the new impulse wave. Then we can get Zilliqa towards the levels that we anticipated to mostly even 52 cents to 80 cents. That's doable for Zilliqa in the next impulse wave. But first you need a compression period before you can anticipate such a move. And if we look at a very big runner recently, which is Aave, and if we use the log scale, you can see that there are those correction periods as well. So we just have an accumulation period on altcoins, just some retest on the USDT value, a corrective period of the markets, time to accumulate, and then during the summer, that's when it's going to pay off. Enjoy your time. Enjoy life, become educated, uh, be disciplined, be patient, and I'll see you again tomorrow.